Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we have a video not about Call of Duty on the Wii, but recently I've been looking into this one game, Call of Duty Online. It's a free-to-play game run by Tencent Games in China, actually licensed by Activision. Ladies and gentlemen, without giving you an intro too long, with a lot of prep work gone into it, a lot of fake Chinese bullshit added on, I had to make a fake Chinese location, name, all that kind of stuff, here is Call of Duty free-to-play coming from China, playing on Chinese servers. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be playing the Call of Duty that never came to our side. So while we got to get masterpieces like Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, little did you know, for years, Call of Duty Free-to-Play was running in China with its own competitive bullshit and its own caveats as well. So right over here, as you can see, this is my character I made over here. You get, like, options of Asian Nathan Drake. You, you get, like, John Marston is one of the options. But if you're looking around over here, it's all in uh, it's all in Chinese, so you know, don't don't expect me to fucking translate this shit. All right, I'm not I don't, I don't understand anything that goes on aside from a few things which I'll show you. But as you can see over here, they've got your loot crate openings as well. I can't believe I actually have some of them right now. Uh, you, you get to basically get loot crates. Look at all this stuff. You, you get I think I think these are perks. I don't I don't understand. Dude. This, is like, this is like some missiles. This is like squiggly line missiles. You got a you got a cute. You know, Chinese uh, lady over here basically being our quartermaster. So it's got some of that new COD freshness, but it's got that old COD. You get weapons. So you get like this AK-47U, AK-47 or something. With like, this is like a Metal Gear AK. All right, you, you can buy stuff for like money. You have to be level 30 to get it. I'm only level 8. Or, uh, you know, you can buy other other, other stuff. So I'm going to go around over here, get myself some, uh, get myself something at least. I think I can get myself the uh, CSG-12. Let me check this real quick. Oh, I totally can. I can actually get myself an entire shotgun, ladies and gentlemen. You can get shotguns. You can go into your... I think this is, like, just my character stat list or whatever. Here, I'm about to unlock, like, a Rolling Thunder or something. Wait until we get into the gameplay for this. I know I'm going through a lot of things, but, frankly, this game has a lot to offer. Here, you can create your classes. You got, like, three classes over here. All right, you, you can basically put, so instead of an SMG, I can go into that and put like the shotgun that we got. You can get attachments for your shotgun. So I can get like, I think extra, I don't know what the fuck half these things are, four grip sights. Let me go attach a suppressor for God's sakes. Can't really, oh, I need to be a certain weapon level to use it, understood. So it's got all of the classic functionalities of Call of Duty. You can get perks. You can buy more perks. Some of these perks are only available. Oh yeah, you buy them with like in-game money that you earn. Or you can get like, you know, microtransactions or something. Here we can get like, uh, we can get this. This is like, I think this is like bomb vest or something like that. We'll unlock that or whatever. You got, you got your gas masks. All right. You got, uh, if we can go back, you got your, <laughs> you got your scavenger pro. I think this is cold blooded sleight of hand. I'm definitely want that later. But as you can see, this is basically COD. It's got the pick 10 system. It's got like everything, ladies and gentlemen, this thing don't fucking dick around. You got your weapon levels, you got everything. So this is Call of Duty, like legit. Like this is COD online, I'm not even kidding with you. But now the interesting thing is, you go to the actual online, so you get like PVP, but I shit you not, it seems like you actually get a campaign along with it. I've done the first mission, but you actually get a real campaign, which we will go into, don't worry. I'm not kidding with you, we'll focus into it. But let's do a match of PvP first. How about that? Let's get into one of these matches, see what it's all about. All right, here we go. We're starting off. We're doing it. We're getting it done. So here we go. We got. Let's use the shotgun that we actually just unlocked. Let's go into it this way. Oh my god, this is beautiful. I fucking love it. Oh my lord. So uh, you get all the factions. So this is actually Black Ops's variant of it. As you can tell, it's got the old touch to it. But uh, as we're running around, by the way. Uh, get used to the fact that we're playing on shitty pings. As you can tell, I'm playing on Chinese servers. My god, I'm sucking dick. Holy fuck. But, uh, my ping right now is about 295. I think I'm playing with another, uh, American or something like that. We got CC CCP. They got similar pings, so I think I'm playing with somebody close. So you gotta have some beast internet to play this game. But as you can see, this is COD without half the bullshit. This free-to-play version of Call of Duty that's only in China for some fuck-all reason is better than our version of Call of Duty, believe it or fucking not, dude. I don't know how, but it fucking is. Alright, here we got this lady over here. She's fucking... So you got different character models, obviously. A lot of these people are not military-themed, like this... Oh, that dude got fucking nuked, man. Holy shit. He got nuked on Nuketown, motherfucker. 
All right, my team is doing pretty okay. We're definitely showing these Chinese that we're not the... Well, we're not just a bunch of dumbasses. I got killed by a level 51, dude. Holy fuck. Oh, no! No! All right, I gotta switch out, man. I can't do it with a shotgun. Let's bring the M4. This thing's fucking violently bad. All right, let's go look down our sight. Oh! Fuck, man! How did she get me? Dude, I'm playing on absolute piss-poor connections, though, so... Oh, wait, this dude spawned with me? Get out of here, dude. What are you doing? Got HG007, dude. And you got kill streaks and everything in this, dude. This is, like, legit. Like, this is more alive than official COD in our servers on PC. Oh, fuck. Oh, what is this cowgirl, mother? What is this Oni Chambra bullshit, dude? Alright, I got an assist or something. So you don't really need to figure out much about this. I mean, if you play COD, you know what half these things mean. You got score for killing people. You get assists, all that kind of good stuff. But in some ways, as much as I played this, this is actually better. It reminds me of when I used to play MW2 when it first launched, like those good times. And if a COD game is giving me that, y'all know it's good. This doesn't have any of that bullshit jetpack nonsense that the newer games do. Oh, fuck, dude. Wait, this is a... Oh, dude, you, you can pick up other people's guns and shit, too. You don't even need to micro... Oh, wait, this is a shotgun. Fuck that nonsense. We'll take this. Who's got that chrome life? Couldn't even use it. Fuck. Oh, dude, they got, like, cute-ass fucking teddy bear backpacks. But platinum? Dude, I'm playing with a clan, dude. These are, like, some rich guys. Dude, I should, I should, I should, I should really take this competitively, man. I, this could be the new, this, this is honestly better than fucking COD nowadays, dude. Holy shit. I'm playing a free-to-play version, an official free-to-play version of COD that was never released over here. Better than the real thing. I never thought I'd see the day, to be honest. You know, honestly, playing this more and more, I know I'm getting decimated right now. But, uh, the more and more I play this, the more and more, it, like, it makes me want to play more of it. And I'm so glad I went through the trouble of making that QQ account bullshit just to play this game because this is a good fucking game. I killed him when he had the Sonic rings, as you can see. He can't do that, dude. He'll just be shitting rings for his entire life. Oh, come the fuck on, dude. He had, like, purple glasses. That's pretty nice. There is no way to pull this shit off. Well, at least my team's fucking carrying me, dude. I'm, like, sitting 6 to 16. Alright, got the assist, as always. I'm really good at fucking assisting my teammates, let me tell you. Alright. They're all, like, really camping around. Like, we're kind of, like... I think we're, like, base rushing them at this point. Like, their spawns are not switching. Usually, like, in the real game, they would start switching. I don't know why the fuck they're not. Oh, yeah, the fucking Sanic rings, dude! I'm gonna... Those are gonna drive me insane, motherfucker. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm gonna bring this. Something new to the table. Alright. Camp it out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Alright. Sometimes you gotta do these things, you know? Oh my god, the lag there. Alright, am I gonna get a fucking UAV? Am I gonna get... Oh, god damn it, dude. I would have been the only one to get excited by a fucking UAV drop. <laughs> What's his life right now? Oh my god. Oh my god, I could come in my pants. Here, let's go with my uh, let's go with my current weapon. So you get to pick your fucking look. Oh my god, we're in 2013 squiggly line 712. <gasps> it's actually a remake. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think this is this is a unique mission. Huh. Wait a minute, is it? No, it's not. I don't know what the hell this is. It feels like a remake of the second mission or something. Alright, let's go out there and deal with this. Alright, let's go, motherfucker. We gotta go to 33 star. Alright, dude. We gotta hunt for Rojas in Favela, dude. This is pretty sweet. Alright, so I think that's who we're hunting for. We can't really shoot him, but we got our own teammates. We're giving us some eye in the sky right now. Fair enough. It's giving you the little arrows. It's so cute. It's got a little story. I love it. All right, this dude tried to stop me. Fuck off out of here. That's a nice gun, though. <gasps> I can take it. Interesting. Oh, it's got a chrome, man. It's really nice. All right, go up this way. This is fucking impressive, dude. No, get out of here, dude. No. It's like playing arcade cod. What is this? Oh, no, that's a doge. I can't take care of the doge. I'm not going to kill the doge if, uh, if, if there's no reason to. This is literally running through the multiplayer map. Get the fuck back here, dude. Oh, my lord. 
Like, the first mission was a remake of COD 4's first mission. This dude's, like, levitating, motherfucker. But, like, it had this, like, uh, it had this, uh, helicopter shooting gallery thing in the first part. This is, like, weird. No. Oh, they all have, like, interesting weapons. Here they have, like, the, uh, rangers. So this is, like, as you can tell, this is Favela from MW2. So they got, like, maps from all the franchise going around. I can't understand what you're saying, Captain Price, but, you know, whatever it is, I can tell you're angry, and I don't like you angry, dude. <laughs> I just fucking shot that dude. I love how even the uh, PVE has lag. Get out of here. Oh, Ghost got him, dude. Ghost. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Chinese free to play Ghost. <laughs> God damn it. I love you, Activision. You're so great. <laughs> so it's like. It's actually, it's actually a whole campaign for a free to play game. Why? Alright, you can like skip this, and I think... I don't know if there's like more to this mission than it leads on though. Now I don't know if there's like different difficulties, but here we go. I think we got like something. I think we're working our way to a supply drop. So you get like XP and you get like money for doing it. And I think you get like progress towards a mission. So as you can tell, it has an actual single player. So you got like a sniping mission right here. But as you go through, they got like a campaign for this. But then they got another campaign, I think. I don't know what it is, but it seems like a zombies mode that you unlock at level 13. I'm not there yet. But then they got this other campaign, or something, which we'll actually get into. See what the hell this is really about. Let me go see what this is. So I think there's like different difficulty options up here. Oh no, we're, we're loading up and seeing what the hell... Uh, we're, I think this might like, be a zombies mode, but I don't really have the time to go check that thing out. Over here down, you can see this has like more XP, so I think it's just like the hardest difficulty to be honest. Like I think this might be veteran mode, and everything here is like recruit, normal, and like, uh, what was it, hardened? But uh, okay, so you got that going for it. And then you got over here, you got like the championship section of things. Um, on the right over here, you've got what seems to be like theater mode. Actually, yeah, this is theater mode. You can go into here and like look at all your past games. So for example, some of these first games I really dominated at, so you can actually see, like it has full on theater mode from COD, which is fucking impressive. Uh, going down over here, they've got like your standard lobbies that you can really join in and you know get right into if you want, but over here they got the auto matching. So it's interesting because you got team deathmatch, you've got you know search and destroy, which like are, are really long games in this version of COD. And you've got like 9v9, you've got 6v6, you got like, you know, kill confirmed, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know what this mode is. I haven't been able to get into it, really. Now, if that isn't your thing, you can go into it and make your own game. So, like, over here, I can make myself, like, uh, an 18-player game or something of COD, give myself a little password. Uh, but you can give yourself a bunch of game modes. So you got, like, Team Deathmatch, obviously. You've got Cat Flags. You've got uh, Search and Destroy. I think you got, like, Hardpoint. You got every single type of game mode. You got something with, like, a diamond over here or something. We're going to go into regular Team Deathmatch and create a room real quick. And over here, as you can tell, you've got, you know, your standard time, you got your limits, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can go into like the spectator cop casting thing, but down over here, if you can tell, you, you might not be able to read the map names, but you can surely tell that some of these, I think, are directly, like that's Kill House from COD 4. Going down, that's uh, Overgrown, and this is Rust, but then keep going, you've got High Rise, it seems, all right? And then you go down here, you've got Summit from Black Ops, you've got Terminal from Modern Warfare 2, uh, and then you have some nuclear map, I don't recall this exactly, I think it might be Subbase. Uh, here you've got, you've got, uh, you got one of the maps from MW3, I think it's, uh, what is it? It's, it's, uh, it's like the, it's like the one where they had like the market in the middle. You've got Afghan from MW2, you've got, uh, you've got... You've got a map from Black Ops, exactly. I forget what it is, I think it's like Kill House or something. Um, then you've got Vacant, not Vacant, what is it? Wetworks from COD 4, all right, that's what you got over there. You got a whole bunch of maps, by the way, too. This is like the best mixed version of, uh, of MW3, MW2, Black Ops 2. This is Raid from Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 1, all right? You got like the best, you got Dome. You've got, um, I don't recall what some of these maps really are. Uh, some of these, I think, are exclusive to COD Online. I'm not sure. There's Favela. But uh, we're going to go and show... I'll show you, like, Rust, for example, right here. Uh, I was lucky. I got that on my fucking first click, too. 
Uh, but as you can see, you unlock the supply crates as you go on. I don't really know what they give out. I don't. I never. I never got anything really major out of them, or I can't really understand it. But here you go. You're getting like rust loaded up real quick. Now it's interesting because they got like factions from all of the Call of Duty lore, but they're like interspersed. So you got Task Force 141 versus some other random faction from like Black Ops. But here we got it. So ladies and gentlemen, you've got fucking Rust. You've got Rust and COD Online, but it's not the same Rust it seems. Because if you like go up around over here, you can see that they added like an extension to Rust. Like they've got the tower for sure, right? Like you can go up to the tower, but it seems like Rust has gotten a massive expansion. So you got a little building out over there. But you go down over here, see I can't play this completely because there's nobody else in the server with me. But like you keep on going this way, you got like a little building, a spawn point. So like they extended Rust. So these aren't actually the same exact maps. Well, they are, but they're extended maps. Like, this is actually a full game that Activision has fucking worked on. So it's pretty impressive to see just where where they've lied, like where, where they've gone in the grand scheme of things. And yes, you do get XP for just playing this shit. So ladies and gentlemen, what you witnessed there was just a brief taste of Call of Duty Online. Now there's a lot I can go and do it about this game. I can actually go make a fucking let's play on like the multiple campaigns that they're offering to believe that there's a campaign in a free to play game. I'm fucking shocked. I don't know how that really worked out, but frankly, Call of Duty had it. So I clicked on something by there, but what the fuck. But to think that they have a campaign in a free-to-play game, but not only that, they've got the best of multiplayer hits from everything else. And of course, the only thing that I have to put up with, because I live outside of you know China, I have to deal with uh, I have to deal with connections that are a little shoddy for me. But hey, if that's all it takes, I might just get back into the series with a free-to-play Chinese MMO version of Call of Duty, arguably better than what you get for sixty dollars released every year. So this map pack alone is better than the paid dlc that we end up paying for every fucking year so in my opinion fuck call of duty world war ii i think it's all about motherfucking call of duty online so hey if you want to see more of this let me know in the comment section below i'll definitely cover more call of duty online chinese edition hell yeah dude this shit's great for all the effort i put into it it was worth it but hey if you like what you saw please like comment and subscribe just like if you dislike it this is me mudahar and i am out